Hi guys, what's up and welcome to another vlog. Um, I know that I've been a little bit MIA, it's been a little bit hectic with all of my uni work and with my uh, private life as well, so I haven't been able to catch up with you guys here in my art vlogs, but here we are today. I woke up at 7.30 because I had stuff to do. I just edited my poses tutorial, which is gonna go live today. And by the time you're seeing this vlog, you already saw the poses tutorial. I really hope so, at least. Uh, and I really hope that you guys liked it. So it was just edited right now and I'm uploading it. So it's all ready to go um, in the afternoon. And then also in like um, 15 minutes, I have my Spanish classes, which I'm so, so excited about. Out. and then um, I'm going to my university because we are finally having like real classes at least this one class on Friday so uh, yeah today is gonna be a little bit busy afterwards I need to run some errands so yeah I'm quite stressed out about today but I hope it's gonna be all good I really like when my days are busy and packed so yeah that's about it I need to um, prepare for my lesson now and I'll catch up with you guys really soon So I just got dressed and ready to go. So I'm gonna be heading to my university in a second. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my very simple and comfortable outfit for today. Like I said, now I'm gonna be off for my one hour class or something like that. Then I need to come back here again, drop some stuff, drop my computer off, and then I'm off to the post office. I'm off to the shopping mall. I need to do some groceries, so yeah a day full of just running some errands and uh, trying to you know fix a couple of things so yeah this is basically my plan for friday this is what my friday will look like so yeah i'll be off now so wish me luck you're special and you're reckless and babe you're my bestest friend yeah she's my bestie my love for you is endless nobody else can end it and when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Oh. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of yeah, oh yeah. Like how you do it alright. Everything good alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top alright, oh yeah. I wanna know it tonight. I wanna be the one to surprise you. Wake you up in the morning. I wanna. Wet dreams come true She know she bad, better than bad She a gun shot that blew my mind No distance, I come by my side Everything is green over here oh, yeah. Everything you want and think about No, I got your back all the way And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of you
Hi guys, what's up? So today is Monday and today I actually don't have any classes so I'm planning to use my day quite effectively. I have some errands to run like always but I also want to clean up my studio uh, space let's say a little bit. Um, also apart from that I want to finish up my sketchbook because sketchbook tour is coming very very soon but I still want to um, finish my sketchbook up to the level that I'm happy with and to be able to show it to you guys uh, when it's just completely done. So that's one thing to do for today. And also I wanted to show you guys what I ordered recently because you guys were requesting that I do a review of these markers. These are the um, touch twin markers. So these are the original touch markers that I wanted to try for a while and lately I've been getting like very many comments under my youtube videos that i should test these out so yeah i ordered a bunch of colors um and i'm gonna make a review uh, of these very soon so be on the lookout for that so yeah not only the sketchbook tour is coming very soon i think it's gonna be probably right after this vlog and then also the touch markers uh, review so i'm pretty excited about that What's up? So I just came back from the outside and it was freezing cold. It's really wintry here in Poland. But anyway, I needed to just uh, go and pick up two packages that I've ordered. And actually both of these are very, very exciting for me because um, I'm just gonna start with the unwrapping both of these. So one of the packages is for the school project. It's a stamp and I really hope they did their job properly because this was a very complicated design. Oh my god, that, that looks insane. That looks so perfect. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I was so worried because, let me show you and I'm gonna explain this to you in a second. So this is a rubber stamp. Why won't it zoom, please? So as you can see, it's super detailed. It's only five centimeters per five centimeters and it's really many details that I already see. Some of the details got lost, but it's all right. Um, I'm still fine with that. Uh, and I was worried that uh, they won't understand what I wrote in the email and then go they're gonna uh, print it wrong or like cut it wrong. Oh, so I'm so relieved that it looks good. I'm just gonna grab, um, I'm just gonna unwrap the second package first and then I'm gonna grab the ink and we're gonna test this stamp out. And you guys, this is, this school project is the one, I probably haven't been so excited for any school uh, assignment yet, like I am for this one. So yeah, uh, anyway, I'm just gonna unwrap the second package and I'm gonna show you uh, what I've ordered. But I think you can guess uh, from the fact that I am um, finishing my sketchbook, my previous sketchbook. So I needed an instant refill, let's say. Um, so yeah, this is the new sketchbook. And let me just get rid of this. And yeah, this is my new baby. 
This is the exact same model of the sketchbook like I had now. But yeah, this brand, Lodge Room 1917, you guys are always asking what kind of brand of sketchbooks I'm using. Uh, is probably my favorite so far. I've tried Moleskine sketchbooks and they were also very good, but I don't know, I just love this format, first of all. I really love that it's a square. I love the pages, the paper, its thickness and um, how the supplies that I'm using uh, act on it. So yeah, I can definitely recommend it and uh, yeah. The one problem with this sketchbook is that it's quite pricey and this is one thing that is always kind of breaking my heart whenever I'm buying those sketchbooks is like, is it really worth spending like, uh, let me think, like $20 for this sketchbook? I think so. I think yes, it is worth it because, you know, I'm using it all the time. I'm constantly using it. I'm doing all my artworks and sketches in this, so it kind of pays off. But yeah, I understand that for some of you guys it might be a little bit problematic, but, but if you decide to buy it, I think that you won't regret it. So yeah. <laughs> So now I'm gonna grab the ink and we're gonna test out this stamp because I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so um, I took some just basic um, printer paper. I have my uh, ink, ink pad. And uh, yeah, let's test this out. I'm gonna get you guys here with me so you can see um, everything, kind of. All right, let's see this baby. Wait, I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm just pressing it against the ink pad. And for a stamp, that's actually a quite big size. It was so difficult to find such a size of the stamp, but um, yeah, it wasn't even that expensive, honestly. Okay, so it's all covered in ink. And I think that we are ready to give it a try. You guys, that looks perfect. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look, can you? <laughs> I'm so bad at it. It's honestly, it's incredible. I'm so, I'm so amazed. Like, wow. I'm like, I'm speechless. This looks so good. This is insane. No, <laughs> I made a mistake. Okay, another one. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on doing this uh, thing that I want to show you guys with the stamp and I'm gonna uh, describe the task that we were supposed to do. So basically this assignment was about designing an Ex Libris and um, Ex Libris, uh, as far as I know, is something that is a sort of personal uh, ident identification, a personal sign, symbol of someone. So basically you can do your own Ex Libris and treat it as this kind of uh, stamp as your kind of signature. It can, it usually um, includes uh, a sort of illustration, a logo, something of this sort. So it's kind of like typo typography mixed with, um, with some kind of picture. So anyway, we were supposed to design an Ex Libris and we could do it for um, some institution, for a person, for basically whatever we wanted. So um, I decided that I'm gonna go with fashion theme and I, want to do, uh, I wanted to do an Ex Libris for fashion brands, for fa fashion houses. And I decided that I'm gonna do an Ex Libris for four fashion houses that are included, that are owned by the LVMH group. So um, after consulting it with my teacher, I decided to go for um, a quite, let's say, uh, advanced thing because I wanted to do an Ex Libris for each and every uh, fashion brand, but I also wanted to combine them into one big Ex Libris and make it into this sort of a representation of LVMH group. I really hope that that makes sense, but yeah, this, uh, this particular Ex Libris, as you can tell, it's one singular stamp, but it combines into a full piece like that. And the point of all of this is that instead of stamping uh, for the same stamps, I will, I will make the remaining three fashion houses. I already have the projects, I need to just send them in for the stamp. And then I'm gonna combine them into one big Ex Libris that will <laughs> include uh, four different fashion brands, fashion houses. And yeah, that's the idea. So. Um, that's why I'm super, super excited about it because I love fashion myself. I love following fashion trends. I love uh, watching fashion shows. 
And um, yeah, this is something that I'm very passionate about. So that's why I am so passionate about this project and I'm so, so happy with the way it turned out. I, I actually can't wait to show it uh, to my teacher, especially that it's on the paper, it's a physical thing. It's not only on the computer as most of my projects for school. So uh, I'm very, very happy with this. So yeah, I hope you guys understood uh, what it was all about and uh, that you liked what I did. This is, I don't know if I said it, but this is the Ex Libris for Dior. And I'm gonna write something in the middle. I'm just gonna um, sign it kind of. So yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> So just to wrap this vlog up, I wanted to show you what I've been working on uh, when it comes to my sketchbook because like I said already multiple times, um, the sketchbook tour is coming just after this vlog, which means next uh, week. Mm, but yeah, there are still a couple of uh, drawings that I want to finish up before showing it to you guys. And the one drawing that I finally decided to um, complete is this one right here um i don't know if you're saying it's mirrored or no i'm always confused but yeah uh for girls like a group selfie kind of situation um it's not my favorite but i kind of want to have it finished and um, show it to you guys um when it's completely done like i said um so yeah this is what i've been working on um as you can tell, the sketchbook is pretty filled, so I'm super, super excited for the sketchbook tour and I hope that you guys are as well. So yeah, I'm not gonna be prolonging this vlog anymore. Um, thank you guys for watching and I hope that you're gonna tune in for my next week's uh, sketchbook tour. So have a great weekend and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!